After quite a long hiatus, Leafy is here, just did his very first interview with Keemstar over at Drama Alert, and I think he just exposed himself as another selfish creator. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community or pop culture in general to try to teach you, yes you, how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. And I already know, I already know some of the comments that are coming and I can't wait. I just turn towards them and I embrace them. The comments are like, you're just doing this for views. You just want to get views. Yes, I love views. Views make me happy. They make me happy. I would rather spread a message of hope to a room filled with people than nobody. So yes, I make videos for views and I am just the worst because of it. Just an awful person. Wouldn't you agree, Zach? But anyways, so um, as far as Leafy is here, don't know much about him. I, I only know about him from like content cop that iDubbbz made. Um, I watched Elvis the Alien, so I watched some of that stuff. And I like I, I did like this kind of like rabbit hole dive on Leafy is here. I'm like, who's this guy people keep talking about? So I like wasn't around during like the spike of Leafy is here. But um, based on what I've learned, like doesn't seem like that great of a guy. Um, but anyways, there's definitely some topics from this interview that Keemstar just did on Drama Alert where like there's things that we can learn. And like one of the things that I, I, I've been trying to teach on my channel more and more lately is just how selfish and self-centered so many of us are. Like our default is to think about ourselves. And this is just a major issue with, with humans. It's, it's not just like, uh, like, I'm not telling you you're a bad person, but the way our brains are wired is to be selfish. It's just the way it is. So like, we need to look at that, address it, and work on it if we can. Like, our basic survival instincts make us do some pretty dumb stuff. So one of those basic survival instincts is to be selfish, and that doesn't necessarily help us foster healthy relationships and live the best life that we can live today in a mental and uh, emotionally well way, you know what I mean? So anyways, one of the first things that they talk about, like which everybody like wants to know is like, where the heck is Leafy? Like he's been gone for, I think they said like 10 months. And um, you know, Keemstar asked him some questions about, you know, why didn't you make a goodbye video or why didn't you say anything or whatever? And then Leafy like says just some like BS about why he didn't make it. And, and I just see these kids and they're asking <laughs> where is Leafy, so when you left, did you think about, you know, letting down those those hardcore fans? Well, I mean, absolutely. I have a video still saved on one of my old laptops where I was just going to, you know, it was like a formal goodbye video and whatnot. But I just got halfway through it. And as I said, it was just more and more bullshit on top of the YouTube. And I'm not talking just I'm talking more like YouTube as a platform. Right. Right. Like, I remember I'd make jokes with like like YouTubers and Skype calls like, why the is this shit getting popular it's just like you know it's like the stupidest shit getting popular you know that on top of the fact that youtube is just keeps rolling out these policies that just kind of seem like yeah if you make edgy content it's harder so yeah like there's no other name for this there's no other name for this and like this is gonna be a very tough love video but like you guys like there's no other name for this like you cannot have a following of over four million people and just be like you know what Nah, no explanation, you know? And like the way that some of these creators like justify it is like just insane. Like, oh, I just didn't feel like it, I made it. But I just didn't, like what? Like what, that is not cool. Like it's not cool. Like, okay, have you ever been like ghosted on in a relationship? Like how did you feel? All right, now imagine ghosting like millions of people with no explanation, like it's selfish and self-centered like to not give an audience this explanation. And like, don't get me wrong, like there's a balance that comes into this. Like, I'm somebody, for example, I work in uh, drug and alcohol treatment, right? And people will come to treatment and they say, hey, how do I tell my, you know, um, my, my coworkers or these people, how do I tell them that I'm a, addict or alcoholic and I'm, you know, went to a treatment center. I'm like, you don't owe them anything. You don't have to tell them anything. But here's the thing, here's where that balance comes in. Cause I'm a firm believer in that like, you don't owe anybody any of that information until, until you open up the gates. 
Once you open up the gates, sorry, you do owe people an explanation because you've welcomed them in to your life. So like, to just yank that cord is extremely selfish. And now I'm gonna touch on real quick Martin Zia again because I've gotten like a bunch of mixed comments on my video about that, but like, I was being very, very nice and kind to her. And like, I do, you know, like I, I was trying to go soft and be like, okay, you know, her mental health. And like, at the end of the day, like, I, I hate to say it, like, right before I made this video, like I talk, this is how I talk to my clients. This is how I talk to people with that tough love. What she's doing is selfish. I'm sorry, like I just got done reading my newest comment. And like, there's so many just like Marzia, Marzia, stands just like oh just leave her alone just do, 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 do. and it's like okay cool like i i know you want to justify it and stuff but at the end of the day it's selfish and here's kind of what made me want to bring this up again i wasn't even aware when i made the video about marcia that she privated like all of her videos she privated like all of them like what what why would you do that like again Again, like, you have opened up the gates to let people in. And I've seen comments from people in that video, they're like, I had some of my favorite videos in there and they were like good memories and nostalgia and stuff like that. Like, I personally have a playlist that I have saved for like motivational and inspirational stuff. Like, what if somebody just yanked that from me, you know? Like, that's the problem is so many of us, like, they're just thinking about themselves. And it's just, to me, it is such a cop out for me to say, well, I was thinking about it. I was, okay, here's an example. I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, and I wasn't seeing my son. I wasn't being a good father. Like, and I thought I could justify it and be like, well, I felt bad and I was thinking about him. Like, so? So? Like, who cares? Again, I'm trying to redirect it towards me. Like, I was thinking about me, not the, the, the bad father I was being. Like, this is why I give that tough love, because I had to give that tough love to myself. You know what I'm saying? So there's just a few other topics that I want to touch on real quick. You know, it's like this stupid shit getting popular in the sense of, Oh, what's a good example? Like the Logan Paul and Jake Pauls, right? Yeah. You look at it and you're like, okay, I get it that it's popular, right? And I get it, you know, and there's content for anyone on YouTube. But then it just keeps growing. You get like, you know, you see Jake Paul with like 50 million views a video and it just... One of them was, he was like talking about how he's like upset that Jake and Logan Paul get all the views and, you know, they get 50 million views and all these views and views and stuff like that. Like, who cares? Who cares? cares right like this is a problem that so many creators have i get this problem sometimes i look at other creators and i'm like how come they're getting more views than me like just keep your head down and focus on your race do not worry about everybody else's race this is for all of you out there like you're so worried about people in your office getting promoted and all these other things or what you know the people from your high school are doing don't worry about their race worry about your race so then they talk about like the demonetization, the demonetization. And I'm sorry, but like, I've just heard way too many YouTubers whining about this lately. And it just, it kills me. Like right before I watched the Leafy video uh, with Keemstar, like I watched another video from another creator who I'm not gonna mention, but like their whole video was just like whining about the demonetization. And it's just so, crazy to me like for example the creator that i was watching that made an entire video an entire well edited great video about this like they spent all that time i have seen this person go on live stream and just talk to their fans and within an hour within the, an hour they had thousands of dollars of super chat thousands of dollars of super chat this creator also has merch like why are people just like, why do people focus on the problem so much? This is why I say we've talked about the problem but focus on the solution. Why are people so focused on demonetization that they get so tunnel vision that they're neglecting? Like you guys, I'm letting you know, if you're not a YouTube creator, AdSense is pennies. It sucks. It is such little money. Like, for example, the amount of money that somebody loses out of a big creator, the amount of money that somebody loses by not uh, having a, a monetized video, right? Like they could make that just as easy with merch, super chat, Patreon, all sorts of other things. It's just like, we, we are just prone to complain about the dumbest things sometimes. Like if you wanna know how I keep my mental health well, it's because I don't complain about stupid stuff. Like I am somebody who almost died six years ago. Tristan and I were talking about this. Like it, we, we sit back, we sit back and see people just, just complain about the silliest, insignificant stuff. I wanna make a whole series about this. Like dumb things we complain about as humans. Like you really need to get your mindset right. 
dude, the fucking policies has been very difficult to even make edgy content and even get money in. It's just, I mean, what else can I say about that? Keem, how hard is it to make a video and actually get it so it doesn't have the yellow, what is it, yellow check mark? At I the mean, end? every okay. swear word in this, and you've sworn a lot, uh, is being removed <laughs> in this video right now that we're filming. Yeah, and then like right there, right there in that clip, they're talking about like, oh, we don't get monetized if we cuss. Who cares? Who cares? It is not that big of a deal. Like, I love to cuss. I love to cuss. And Zach, I'm sorry about this, but it's very easy to just edit this stuff out. Watch. See? Oh well, just a minor little inconvenience for Zach. And then I got Zach over here, who I'm paying peanuts, and you're telling me like, these gigantic YouTubers who are raking in the dough from all their, you know, their uh, sponsorship deals, their Patreons, their all sorts of things, and their merch, and they're like, well, I gotta pay someone to edit this stuff out. Like, who cares? Like, again, I love the cuss, but like, this is like, do you complain when you go to a store and like, you gotta wear clothes? Like, well, I just feel like I should be able to walk around naked. Like, okay, sorry, like, you gotta, you gotta wear clothes in there. Like, it's, oh, well, I gotta put pants on to go out in public. Like, who cares? You guys, there's so many more important things to worry about. But like, the, one of the reasons I talk about this is because, you know, our perspective on this stuff is just messed up. Like, for YouTubers, like, look at Leafy. Look at Leafy, this guy was making a ton of money, not saying his content was great, but he left the platform just over some like really silly reasons. So think about the things that we do. We leave jobs, we leave relationships, we just leave things or we give up on stuff for very, very silly reasons. But, you know, for the public's sake, you know, why did you backstab me in your well, words? I mean, how can I reasonably justify this? Uh, I mean, AdSense was at an all time high, but. I, I think that pretty much answered the question. So yeah, right here, like this is just, this is unhealthy. For all of you watching this, this is unhealthy. Like Keemstar asked, like, why did you backstab me? And then Leafy, like you can tell his maturity because he just kind of like giggles it off like, ha, 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 uh, how do I justify this? Like what, what? And then Keemstar just kind of like jokes back and then they just like blow it off. Like what, like why are you gonna sit there and hold on to this resentment? Like, like Keemstar, like, he goes at him and he brings up this uncomfortable topic, like, talk about it, like, talk about it. But like, I think it really shows Leafy's maturity. Like, again, I think it shows his maturity. Like, he hasn't grown, he hasn't changed. Like, how hard is it to say, but like, like, okay, yeah, he did it for money, he did it for views, he did it for whatever. He's like, <laughs> AdSense is really good. Like, just say sorry. Say sorry, my intentions were bad with that, right? Like, that's one of the issues, like, when I talk about like, you know, uh, the way our value system is screwed up, you see people who do these like, these things that are just like shady or unethical or backstabbing, if you will, for money, for views and all of that. Like, yeah, a lot of people make their careers about it, but like apologize, learn from it, grow from it. Like that's what's hilarious. That's what's hilarious too. When you see people like going on all these different channels, including mine, saying, oh, you're just doing this for views. You're just doing this for views. Like, I just made a video right before this one about people who are like torturing children and people who struggle with mental illness for views. And you're like, we're bringing up like serious topics here. I don't know, I don't know. Like, I've just watched a lot of like really upsetting content today, but like, you guys, again, I know 90% of you who are still watching this video to the very end, most of you understand what I'm doing. Most of you understand how these are things that you can, you know, uh, look at in your own life. Like, are you making too big of a deal about very small things? Are you being selfish in different ways that you may not have even realized? Like, so I love all of you who know how to do that or have the capacity to do that, all right? But anyways, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know down in the comments below, like, has it ever affected you when like someone just ghosted on you and just like walked out and like, how do you learn from that, okay? How do you avoid being that person and doing that yourself, okay? Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, you are all amazing. And if you wanna check out some of the new Rewired Soul merch, you can click or tap right there because it don't matter if I get demonetized. All right, anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.